we going? Yeah. All right. What are we talking about? Uh, this has been a crazy week. Let's start. Uh, let's start with uh, the biggest thing: the emotional meltdown that happened. What uh, What happened with Amanda on the show? What was was that? that this week? Tuesday. Yeah, that was this week. That oh, was Tuesday. that was Monday. Monday or Tuesday. Uh, that was Monday, right? Monday. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I remember it. Because I was like, "Holy Jesus, it's a Monday." Uh, I do still have the audio of that. So you didn't actually delete. I it. did not delete it. I okay. do have the audio of that. You sneaky little. I just uh, again, it's it's kind of iffy because things. Ever since I started, ten years ago, like interning here in this building, uh, Daniel definitely knows what I'm talking about. But it's this room is really like a cross of like sometimes you don't know what's what's real like you don't know what is real like yeah i I guess dale didn't even know his wife was mad i mean but she obviously was because she hung up and then dropped a bunch of f-bombs on air right yeah and it's funny in the in the sense of like i mean people poke fun at me and my love life and things i mean we all talk about our past and all the weird little quirks that we have but uh you really have to let go of the ego thing. I, I like to think that all of us in here are kind of evolved. Because this room um, will rip you up if not. Yeah, if, if you still have the ego and you still have the, the weird pride thing and you can't come to terms with, I don't know, who you are or just this existence in general. Yeah, so things hurt. Jokes hurt. Uh, but half a comedy is pretty much insults though, right? I mean, insults yeah. and putting yeah. things down and making fun of them, so... I don't know. Do we have any questions? Can I, can I have some questions? And I'll uh, give you Ashley some, Simon says hi. Some A's. Hello, Ashley. Um, uh, was it was it pretty tense in the room at that moment, especially when Dale started getting uh, the hup ups? Yeah, I mean it's the exact. Like, same how do you go feeling. into a show after that? I don't know if people get the same feeling in their cars listening or podcasts or in their office. I don't know where they wherever you listen, <clears throat> but it's pretty much the same feeling you get when. Uh, your parents are yelling at each other and like about to get a divorce in front of you in the kitchen or something like that and then your friends there too like next to you and shit like it it, that's the kind of feeling and environment that it has and it's just and it lingers the whole break until we come back on air and actually flush things out so that's i don't know do you all get that same feeling whenever y'all hear weird cringy shit like that i mean listening sometimes i don't really but uh that's 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 the whole thing is people do get their feelings hurt. How do you manage the dichotomy between the AM and FM throughout your day? Uh, I've always done that, and I think that's why I kind of kept the uh, name Chewy, is because when I was over there, I would news anchor, uh, do news reporting, uh, traffic, uh, I would host. uh, I've done pretty much everything over there, and I've always kept the Chewy name over here simply because... um, I can say dirty shit here and then not be, a be different associated. Person. Be, yes, because we know that place is pretty conservative and Christian and very, it's like Hallmark, uh, very esque, or they try to, you know, keep it that way. Um, is there any tension between Dale and Matt? No, no, I don't think so. Here's the thing is that I, we talk about how close we are. I don't think we're that close. I don't think I've ever had too many intimate uh, discussions. I remember Matt invited me out to lunch one time. We kind of just sat there and just did and just ate, you know. I don't. We, we never. No one's ever really gone deep. I think we all need to like do mushrooms or get really wasted together or something, because uh, I don't think we've ever really had that close, intimate feeling uh, with each other. So, uh, but I don't, no one's definitely no one has any bad blood in here. There's no tension between anybody. That's good. Uh, how handsome is CJ in real life, man? Like I can't even describe the. Uh, <laughs> I guess it has to. It has completely to do with, with symmetry, uh, and it's just he's got it. And then you got the nice, you know, white skin and beard grows in great. Like it, it, it all worked out. It all worked out for him. He's really beautiful. Uh, have you pulled the classic Austin McAustin and Fluger, Mick Flugerville clip yet? Keep me laughing, fellas. I did pull it, uh, and I messed up again. Dan caught me. I was gonna do uh, seven minutes of a whole clip, but I guess you just want thirty seconds to a minute clip. So we'll, you'll point. hear that tomorrow. You know, I'm going to say something controversial. I don't think that bit was that funny. As much as they talk about it, it, it wasn't, it was, it was just kind of got repetitive at some point. Uh, I don't remember it being all that great. I uh, didn't listen to the whole clip and I completely disagree. You do? Okay. Even Fair enough. I, even though I haven't heard it. 
Is uh, there... When are you three going to do another mm cast? I think today, tonight? Tonight, yeah. I think tonight, tonight. we're doing one. Maybe we yeah. should live Facebook again. Uh, um, are you excited as soccer as CJ isn't? I, actually, I am excited for soccer. Love you, CJ. Um... The yeah, MSF, I mean, MLS I'm definitely going to go to some games. I don't know if I'm going to buy, like, season tickets or anything. But it's going to be similar to, like, Round Rock Express, where it's, like, you go, like, once a month, and then you just go, like, once a year now Yeah. type thing, two, two, two times a year. I think that's how it's kind of going to end up. It's not going to, like, it's going to be unpopular, but, you know, it's, it's not, not going to be as crazy as everyone It's thinks. overhyped right um, now, and sure. it's still, like, three years down the road, if it even happens. <laughs> it's still a big if, but everyone's acting like, tomorrow we're going to have a fucking soccer team. Yeah. Chill uh, out. Austin doesn't support shit. <clears throat> um, Sorry. Please, we'll take any of your questions. You can ask CJ questions, too. He's able to address anything. He works behind the scenes and does a lot of, uh, all of the online shit that does leave. I don't do anything. I think I'm supposed to, but he does it all. Nah, not, uh, not really. That was kind of Carissa, but... <clears throat> so, you can you still know, ask me help. any question of him and me. Uh, there's even things that are secret on the air that maybe we can get into, uh, what CJ's gotten into and his death threats and things like that. Uh, get into shit that you'd like to ask about me that I haven't uh, haven't addressed either that you'd like to know. So I made out with Chris Betts. Uh, there, Leticia, secret. thank you. Uh, I think you need a, a clean, close shave. All right, she, she's trying to color purple me, and that's that's great. Will you? Sure, sure. I'll will, close will you shave. shave. Yeah, I'll shave live on the air. It's all going. You are nothing, nothing, you are pretty well shaven though. There. Completely bald down there. Uh, Chewy, you look great in gray. Thank you. It's too hot for black. I think that's why. This bit is awesome. So, I mean, ask questions and we'll continue the bit. Yeah, yeah we, we can't uh, just chat. What else happened this week? Today was uh, a plethora of Danielisms, right? Yeah, a lot of uh, it was very Daniel-based today. Why hasn't Raise Your Rate ever been brought back? Now, that was classic. That needs to be revisited. You know why? Because I don't think none of us really piss each other off. I think the most person, the person that gets the most mad is, is Dale at Daniel. Uh, and it's very rare nowadays. It's weird, the environment. I'm kind of freaked out how much like I talk on the show and Dale isn't getting mad. I think he's just been in good spirits. I don't I don't know. I can't explain that, but yeah. Uh, everybody's the... in great spirits here. Every everyone gets along with each other. Everybody, you know, whatever. Sup, Chewy. Hey, Tom. Tom, big Tom. I haven't seen. You. I hope you're doing well, Tom. I miss you. Love you. Tom, Tom is now uh, Spotty Downpours on Twitter. Big Tom, I has been a fan of the show forever. I remember him since. I was an intern. I remember Big Tom. Actually, he's probably the the warrior I may have met first and, and just, you know, knew about before everybody. Uh, uh, can we be trolling come back? Oh, yeah. That That's was, the bit uh, that got Taylor Rudolph hooked. Those are pretty good. And I it's cringeworthy. To, yeah, it is. Well, I listened to the Smoothie one uh, not too long ago because we played it at 5 a.m. That's a good idea. I can throw that out there, but I don't know. The right Trump now the guys are in the sales meeting, and I don't know if you hear a rerun tomorrow, then you know it went bad. The, so I, I don't, I don't, I don't trouble, want to throw things out there. You have to wait until the environment and everything feels good uh, when you really throw an idea out there like that. The trouble with that bit is we don't want to piss off <laughs> PR people because then those are the same PR people that bring in big guests, mm -hmm. and if we're shitting on like a dumb author or some guy that made a hot sauce, then. It'll eventually catch up to us. All right. Uh, the meat market in Thorndale is just, I think it's just called the Thorndale meat market. It's Ramirez uh, meat market or whatever. Uh, and that's it. All the CDs behind us are real. Somebody just stole this. Do you know what happened to that? Uh, they moved it. They replaced, they moved everything over there. Oh. I think Chuck's just consolidating the room. Uh, does Matt host his own podcast? I don't think so. He said he's going to. Matt talks a big game about doing stuff, but then doesn't. Hmm. You know what I mean? He was going to take you and Dan out to lunch and have a creative meeting. So what's up? Oh, what's yeah. up, Matt? What's he's up really, he's Matt? really funny. He should have his own podcast, but, you know, I don't know. I, I think, think he has his own equipment. I think having to choose from all of his uh, comedian friends who would be his co-host, it would be, uh, you know, there'd be a competition there. Yeah. There'd be some jealousy and stuff like that because he's kind of, you know, he's well-known locally uh, by everybody. Does Matt, uh, let's see, oh, we read that one. Sure, the feed freezes. Aw. Uh, when we making steaks? Bro, I was literally going to say that today, Michael Riley. Uh, you can absolutely just invite us and let us know when you want to uh, cook steaks. I'd like a reverse sear I've never had. 
Uh, will you make some chimichangas? I do. Those are chewy changas. I do want to make those chimichangas I made for Aaron Franklin, which was pretty much my favorite thing, which is uh, beans and chorizo mixed together and uh, breakfast, Mexican breakfast potatoes. Not the shitty ones. Like when you go to a, a Mexican restaurant and they just chop them in cubes and then like put them in the deep fryer, you got to slice them up and then actually, uh, you know, fry them for a little bit with a lid on. Mm. It's good. Uh, what does it smell like in there? Right now it smells like old ladies perfume. Somebody yesterday sprayed the fucking halls. It just smells like perfume. And then now in all our jock lounge, it smells like ladies perfume. So right now there's a, a hint of that. And weed. Uh, what else? Why does it smell like weed? I don't know. Uh, any other questions? More questions. Uh, I'm trying to think of some things that I can talk about. Let you guys. How was. On. Th oh, never mind. You got a question. Since you are kind of the middleman, do you think Charlie and Dale will ever hug it out? Uh, you know, that is a weird, just ongoing thing that I have steered clear from. On it's, like, it's like two parents, right? Yeah, I purposely, because I went through this as a kid as well, you know, when I was first meeting my dad around, not meeting, but starting to get to know around 12, and then I already had the stepdad for, for years, and there's this, like, weird battle in your brain. I think I know how to handle it now, and it's just... You be good to, to both of them. You appreciate both of them uh, for being there no matter where they came from, if they don't like each other or something like that. Uh, I don't know what their beef is or, I or think if there's any still beef at all. I don't. I never asked Charlie about it. Uh, Dale is open about it on the air. He says he's not necessarily mad about it, so I, I don't know exactly uh, what's going on there. And I've purposely steered clear of it because it's not necessarily my business. I'm good friends with Charlie. I'll continue to be good friends with Charlie because... You know, there was a portion of my life, a couple of years, where he, you know, helped me out. And I, we, we've always been a part of e each other since I interned here when he was the third leg. So, and Dale has played an integral role in, I mean, obviously, he's, he's like a, I'll say big brother, so I don't have to uh, say, uh, uh, what's up? Did you always want to do radio? No, uh, CJ and I were both guys that wanted to be on Saturday Night Live and do stuff like that. And even now, I'd still love to do like a late night talk show host, be, be like a... Jim, not Jimmy Fallon, but like a Jimmy Kimmel. He was a radio guy and then slowly got into talk show host. Uh, I did it because, in general, I wanted to make jokes and say things that were funny, and I was naturally inclined to do that. So I uh, interned here, and I fell in love with the guys and the show. Uh, so I stuck around and wanted to be a part of it, and now I am. CJ, do you manage social media communities or platforms for local businesses on the side? He should. I and should. I think I mentioned that to him. Yeah, Krista used to do that, and she sucked at it. Oh, really? And she made money. Yeah, she does things like leave links in and just misspelled. Yeah. Oh, host in a bowl in 30. I got to I gotta work. I got to I don't get off till like 2, 3 o'clock. So uh, uh, probably not. Someone, uh, uh, someone asked. Any other time. Someone asked how Krista was doing. She's doing really well. Her jewelry shop is uh, slowed down during the summer, so support her there. And she'll be on the podcast tonight. We'll talk with her tonight. Uh, let's see. Weekend one or two for ACL. First, Mighty Cone is on me. Oh, thanks, man. That's nice. Uh, I'm not sure which weekend I'm going to get to go or if we'll even get to go. Part of me wants to buy a day pass for something. Uh, but Childish Gambino, I feel like I'm going to go see in either Dallas or Houston because I really want to see him. Race and Merge opening for him. So y'all don't know who that is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's the same demo um, as our show what do we got uh, coming up on the show tomorrow coming up on the show tomorrow Brad Williams uh, he's a really funny comic and he really gets along with it Dale says he loves him so if if Dale is warm up warm to a comic it's going to be a nice good open show yeah. like it's going to be fun and Brad Williams is, is great so that'll be good and we also have Bob Schneider so it I feel like maybe Amanda might come in. I don't know, but she she could still, still be upset. mad at the at the show and not come in or be associated with it for a few weeks. That's what Dale said. You know, she doesn't want to. I'm not. I'm still not. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm sorry that she's upset with all of us. Uh, do you think Dale will go with you to UTOU game? No, no, we will never do anything. When are you booking Erica Lopez for the show? Immediately. But is she the is she the weather person? She's a yeah, she's a cute weather person. Yeah, she was my top four in the journalistic integrity tournament she, I secretly did. Uh, anchored one time with uh, Quita and did a great job. She's very beautiful, very talented. But none of the uh, journalists want to, or anchors or reporters want to come on the air. Really, uh, you know, we could probably get a guy for sure. Hadlock, I bet. 
Uh, did Beto call in today? He canceled today. I don't know why. He was on an airplane. Uh, he was. He had to fly back to El Paso. Oh, so. he was flying. So, so we're traveling. all voting for Ted Cruz now. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, if the Robert Fonseca channel on my Pandora curated by Bob is the Robert... Uh, fun second channel, probably not. Why are you so cute? Oh, Wispy Minx, <laughs> stop it. Uh, Chewy, what's up? Nothing, just doing this uh, live uh, Facebook thing. Y'all were on fire today, but Chewy, you and Daniel had me dying. I'm sorry, rest in peace. Uh, I, I think I'm, I think I had line of the day today with uh, the long division joke, uh, and Daniel just always steals the show. Uh, He's the uh, house bringer downer. Is he the one that, that had that uh, nickname? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we've really been been grooving in here. It, the chemistry is is unreal right now, and Dale brings it up. Um, makes me feel good. Makes me feel like you know my father's finally proud of me when he says stuff like that. Uh, so hopefully I keep it up. I feel like eventually things are building up. And he, he might yell at me at some point. I think at some point he may blow up. But luckily, he doesn't hear half the things I say. I don't know how he tunes me out. Oh, yeah. But he doesn't hear half the You're, you're the a good little under-sniper. You're a counter-sniper. Yeah. I'm, I'm working with the little stealth bombs. Uh, almost wrecked my Frito truck three times, man. Thank you. That's a compliment. Uh, be careful out there, though. Wear seatbelts and try to pay attention. Uh, Pack that cab filled with chips so you don't... And bring some free chips, yeah. Yeah, bring some free I chips. I love hot Cheetos. Uh, is Daniel really as dumb as he plays it up on the radio? I don't think so. Daniel is not... Daniel's smarter than me. Daniel knows a lot about history and, and geography and things, but he brings up these very obscure facts that a lot of times sound crazy and sometimes they're real and sometimes they're hearsay. And so that's where we misinterpret it. And it but no matter what, what our fact it is, it's very obscure and sounds crazy whether it's true or not. And sometimes it ends up being true. Uh, I mean, if you were to test Daniel about history and things like that, uh, he would kill me. He would kill me in a, in a history quiz and, and shit. So he's not dumb at all. He's just an interesting person. Uh, are y'all still having listeners on Friday? Yeah. Uh, email uh, Daniel or Chewy at klbjfm.com. And we'll uh, see you in two years. Do y'all like hot tea? I uh, drank hot tea the other day because I was getting sick of caffeine. Uh, I, was drink, I drink coffee every morning out of habit. Y'all need to do a frozen pot pie challenge and have Daniel guess which brand he's eating. I could do that. I know the banquet's bullshit. I know Marie Callender's, and I can tell Stouffer's. Uh, ask CJ. I, there, I always have a pot pie somewhere yeah. in the microwave. Uh, but the homemade ones at Marie Callender's, I had my second... Marie Callender's I've good. only had, like, two girlfriends in my life, but the second one, like, could bake really well. She would make homemade pot pie chicken pot pie i would request it and uh oh my god i i don't I, I wish i could you know go back to that time i went on a vacation in montana in montana and sent y'all a postcard with an obscure black history fact oh if it was the oia one then yeah i, I remember uh i can't i don't remember what it was but i remember you sent it uh, your one-liners are so good you make me laugh out loud every day can you tell dale he's tuning out uh, uh, gold. Uh, no, no, I won't. Because then you might get yelled at. Half of them are going to be things that might make him angry. So I don't mind if he doesn't pay attention. I mean, he called one today and gave me props. Uh, made me feel good. Uh, Mike Yanez, no, those aren't real CDs behind us. If you'd have tuned in at the beginning, you'd know that Tex Mex are authentic Mexican food. Tex Mex. Tex Mex. Just because it's fatter, mm. it's greasier. Mm. I mean, I, I, Mexican food's good too. I love a good, you know, taco truck. Probably, if I had to go salsa, I'd go Mexico. Authentic Mexican. Uh, shit in the mocajete and the chunky, real spicy shit. Uh, but Tex-Mex is just better. Queso, flour, tortillas, uh, instead of corn. Uh, when is the Daniel funnel cake demonstration? You'd have to ask Daniel and CJ. Yeah, we need to get a moment. funnel cake. Um, funnel cakes, you, you pretty much have to make I don't think they have frozen funnel cakes or shit. You can make I it. bet they do, somewhere. You well, have to can make someone them. get us a funnel cake? Uh, yeah, if you bring us a funnel cake. Uh, we can do that for you. Uh, I feel like I was talking about something before that. Uh, anyway, more questions uh, and more answers will come to you. Uh, let's see. Well, we've gone about five, ten minutes. You want to go ahead and wrap? Any final 
thoughts? Yeah, yeah, we can go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, hey, uh, Victoria Garcia, old friend from KLBJM. Hello, how are you? Uh, what do we want to end on? Final thoughts on, on what? Uh, Final thoughts? The, the show this week. Thank you for uh, listening. Tomorrow will probably be even better. Thursdays and Fridays are always, always a hit. I don't know what it is about those days. Mondays, meh. I may get in a fight with my wife. I don't know what's going to happen on Mondays. Uh, but tune in uh, all the days, no matter what day it is. So thank you. Thank you to CJ, and thank you for the 30 people that tuned in. We'll see you all next week.